hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in ASP.NET how to search records of the selected date from SQL Server database using jQuery date picker now after adding the ASP.NET search functionality now I am selecting the date uh, for example I am selecting the record the March 1st 2019 search see here we got a message no records found because on March 1st 2019 we don't have any records in our table let's search the employee detail Charan the join date is 2018th January 11th January 2018 the date is 11 search and here we got the employee details channel the joining date is 11th January 2018 let's search the another record this time we'll search the Samantha record 2018th March 14th 2018th and March in this is a date search and here we got the details of this Samantha we are searching the records using the jQuery date picker in ASP.NET from SQL Server database if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates in my previous video I have showed how to add the jQuery date picker to the text box control if you missed my previous video at the end of this video tutorial you will get that link how to add the jQuery date picker calendar control to the text box control now in this video I will show you when a user selects a particular date from this jQuery date picker calendar control when you click the button control I want to display the employee details into a grid view control now before writing the coding part to search the employee details with the jQuery calendar let's open Microsoft Management Studio we'll check the table and the column names I just logged into my SQL Server Management Studio the table name I am using the dvo.emp join which contains three columns employee ID, employee name and emp join date now using jQuery date picker calendar when the user selects a particular date I want to display the particular employee record of the selected date for example if a user selects the date January 11, 2018 I want to get the challenge details in a grid view control so let's add the functionality and this is the code we have just seen on the browser now in the do tag after the horizontal line I am adding a grid view control open toolbox in the data folder there is a grid view control add that one after that I am adding the property empty data text is equals to no records form If the records are not found the selected date from the user I want to display that message no records found in this grid view control that's it we have finished the designing part now switch to the design mode double click the button control and here we got the button click event now before writing the button click event first we'll add the namespaces using system.data using system dot data dot SQL client using system dot configuration after adding these three namespaces now let's add the connection string go to server explorer in the data connections right click that one add connection I'm adding the SQL server name After adding server name, I am selecting the database name. 
the database name is a sample db test connection is succeeded okay okay and notice on the data connections we got that sample db dot dpo we need the data source of this sample db dot dpo right click the sample db dot dpo go to properties in the properties under connections there is a connection string which contains a data source just copy the data source open solution explorer in the web.config file open that one in the web.config file after the configuration I'm adding connection strings add the connection string name I'm adding my connection connection string I'm pasting the data source which I have copied and provider name is equals to system dot data dot SQL client after adding the connection string in the web.config file switch to the source page string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes between double quotes I'm adding the connection string name which is my connection dot connection string SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection I'm adding main connection object this one after that string SQL query is equals to here the SQL query the command text is we are searching the records based on the EMP join date which is a date column so select start from the table name is dbo.emp join where the column name is EMP join date is equals to at EMP join date SQL con dot open method SQL command SQL con is equals to new SQL command the SQL command takes two parameters the first one is the SQL query command text comma and the second parameter is a connection object which is a SQL con SQL com dot parameters dot add with the value between double calls the string parameter name which is this one EMP join date copy this one paste here comma the object value is a text box control ID because we are getting the date from the text box control so I'm adding the text box control ID which is a text box one dot text data table dt is equals to new data table sql data adapter sda is equals to new sql data adapter the sql data adapter i'm adding the sql command object after that i'm filling the data with the data table object sda dot fill method in the fill method I'm adding data table object which is dt so once we fill the data source let's bind the grid view control grid view one dot data source is equals to dt grid view one dot data bind method let's close the connection string with close method that's it we have done the complete coding part I'm reloading the browser link now after adding the ASP.NET search functionality now I'm selecting the date uh, for example I'm selecting the record 
the March 1st 2019 search see here we got a message no records found because on March 1st 2019 we don't have any records in our table let's search the employee detail Charan the join date is 2018 January 11th January 2018 the date is 11 search and here we got the employee details channel the joining date is 11th January 2018 let's search the another record this time we'll search the Samantha record 2018th March 14th 2018th and March 14th is the date such and here we got the details of this Samantha we are searching the records using the jQuery date picker in ASP.NET from SQL server database that's it